Hi guys, today we just have a little tiny Timu haul. Um, I don't have much in this package and it's really not exciting, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it quick. Um, there's nothing really fun in this one. But I wanted to open it up and then show you guys, you know. So these have been in and out of stock like a million times and I really wanted to try them. They're, they're magic sponge, which should be like a magic eraser and we use magic erasers for everything around here. So I really wanted to try theirs. There's 21 of them in this pack. Um, they just work a thousand times better for certain things we do. Most of this box is sponges of varying types because I kept finding sponges of various types I wanted to try. I'm trying not to make a ton of noise. I just want to get this open. Oh, I thought it was going to be two stacks this way. It's not. They're loaded in this way. So a little smaller than a magic eraser. They feel like a magic eraser. They definitely rip like a magic eraser. But I'm going to give it a try. I'll let you know sometime what I think. I also got these just double-sided scrubby sponges. There's five of these in this pack. And I didn't even think to look up the prices on any of these. But this was um, not that expensive an order. But it's got a scrubber on one side, sponge on the other. And then there's this one, and this one. We'll go to these ones next. Um, I have seen people getting these particular ones and reviewing them and loving them because they have what looks like it would be a metal scrubby, but everybody says they're soft and you can still use them on everything. And then just a mesh sponge sponge side here. So, I have black alcohol ink or spray paint or something still on me. So, that is that one. And then I got, these are supposed to be, they're calling them sponge grinding blocks. So, uh, I'm thinking, um, and like, on the site and stuff, it shows scrubbing stainless steel pots and then coming back to super shiny and blah, blah, blah like here in the picture that's what I want uh, the reviews say they work but obviously you need a little elbow grease I specifically wanted this for um, I don't make microwave popcorn anymore ever at all but I do have a stainless steel pot that is strictly my popcorn pot at this point because the oil from the popping and whatnot sticks to the pot big time so and then of course the outside gets you know the same over time but it is strictly my popcorn pot like I would never make a soup or anything in it again um so I'm kind of thinking that this might clean that and some of my other stainless steel it's very soft on this side where you're gonna like hold it to scrub um and it's just a long roll so cut it to whatever size you want um but next time i make popcorn i'm gonna try this out and i may i'm not really a big fan of filming in my sink but i may come back on and show you how it works so these are my three types of sponges and i got a package of these these are like the disposable plastic wrap bowl covers. Yes, you can get reusable bowl covers. Yes, I know this is wasteful, but the people in my house don't like to use saran wrap and don't like to find a Tupperware to put stuff in if they help clean up. So they tend to grab a Ziploc bag and put everything inside a Ziploc bag. 
which is then garbage and more Ziploc bags wasted. So my hope was in getting these that maybe those helpful people would use these instead of a Ziploc bag. This is how they come out though. So this is how they come out of the bag. Give it a couple stretches and it loosens up a little bit, I guess. But then they basically become like, and I ripped it already, but they basically become like a hairnet for the bowl or whatever. You know, leftovers don't last long in our house, but I'm hoping that they would reach for one of these versus a Ziploc bag. And actually the way they come, I can just put a couple drawers in where I have a corner next to the one size of the bag. I can just put a couple of these in there at a time. So we'll see. It's worth a shot, right? Um, and this is a lot less plastic waste than a gallon size Ziploc bag that held you know, a small container of something. So that was that. And then I had asked or ordered another set of the wireless earbuds like I got for myself. I don't remember what channel I unboxed mine on, but I've been using mine for several weeks now. This is like their, um, I think this version's like $15. A lot of people are buying the Lenovo ones and rating them really well, but I've been enjoying my pair of these that I got in the green. So this pair is for my guy. We'll see if he likes them. Um, I still haven't figured out all the like touch controls. I'm not used to that. I'm used to old school plug my headphones in or I have like completely, you know, wireless, but they really do nothing other than answer your phone. Wireless, but connected with a wire is what I'm trying to say, where the controls in the middle, um, I know what I'm trying to say, but, um, hopefully he'll like these. Um, so that's everything I got. It was mostly kitchen stuff, mostly sponges. Um, I like to buy cleaning supplies like a lot and, um, I don't always like to use them, but I like to collect them. So I actually have a sink full of dishes and I'm going to take uh, I think I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to do my dishes with this today. And I think I have, I do, because I used them last night to make slider, big sliders. Um, but I do have a stainless steel, like, half pan that I can try this on also, which is significantly dirtier on the outside than my pot is, so... Maybe I'll try a little piece of that today too, but I'm not going to show you that part. So that is it, assorted sponges. If you've been buying sponges and stuff from them, let me know what you think. Let me know which ones you like, because like I said, I kind of um, collect and hoard cleaning supplies. I normally actually cut my sponges in half and get two separate uses out of them because I don't like to use a sponge for very long because they start to smell really quick typically. So. I will probably cut this in half as I do. I don't need a full sponge to do dishes and I don't like dishcloths to do dishes. So I'll actually get twice as much use out of these. These I'm obviously not gonna cut in half. I suspect that would fall apart in a heartbeat. So that is it. If you've used the magic erasers, I mean, I think they're gonna be chintzier, but I'm gonna try it. I also use these I use magic erasers with the acetone to clean like the inside of my tumblers and stuff when I have paint over spray and whatnot. And I only use a small piece at a time, but I think these might be great for that too, because they don't have to be a sturdy, hard scrub. That's just a quick like wipe and done. So I'm looking forward to trying these out, especially. And part of this, like I waited on this whole order till those came back in stock because they were out for a while and in and then they were back out before I checked out. So lots of people are buying them, but 
Um, I do have a code for first time users. I will put that down below. That is 30% off and they are shipping to Canada now. I'm not sure if they've released my codes to my Canadian shoppers yet or Canadian viewers. And I believe if they're not already, they are in the process of UK shipping last I heard. So they are spreading. Um, I do think it's affecting us a little bit. I think this package might have been, well, no, it was still under two weeks. So, and I think it was actually scheduled to show up on Monday and it's Thursday. So it's actually early. So, um, I know some people are saying shipping's been slower, but in this case, not so much. So, um, that is it. I will see you next time.